Hello everyone, welcome to another paint.net graphics tutorial. And today I'm going to teach everybody about the gradient tool. Also, in my opinion, known as the second best tool ever. Ever. Okay? So, uh, step one. And we will be recovering the gradient tool once we've gone over other tools. But the first episodes are going to be just going over tools. Then I'll go over a couple effects. And then I will be going over putting it all together to make a pretty cool image. For today, we're going to use black and white um, as our gradients. Or as our colors for the gradient. And here's how it works. If you have gradient selected. And you have linear selected. And... You have color mode, rather. Here's what transparency mode does. It takes your second color. See? Watch. It takes your second color. Or no, maybe it doesn't. Oh, well. It just kind of makes a wave of one color to transparent. I think it's always white, actually. Yeah, it looks like it is. So... Anyway, so you have this selected where it looks like that uh, color mode. And over here, normal blending. I've never used overwrite. Never had a need to or know what a need to would be. And you use this. Er, and you do this. Say select right here. You just drag down. And you get a gradient. That fail. But what if you wanted a gradient that was completely straight? Hold the shift key. If you hold the shift key, you can't go off unless it's at a perfect 45 degree measured, like, multiple of 45 degrees angle. So if you hold shift, it's going to be perfectly straight somewhere. Like here, you can hold shift, and boom, we get a perfectly even angle here. Now, what if we wanted a bar, uh, one color to be like a bar going down in between two other colors? We could use that color and then transparency, right? Yeah, you could. Or you could do it a lot easier and use the linear reflected. So let's make a straight bar down the middle almost. Oops straight bar down the middle that is how this works or you can go down here and then it's horizontal as long so it's a line going the opposite way of the direction your two knobs are going and if you do it really fast it looks kind of cool but we aren't worrying about that today or what if you want kind of like a star, a, a like starish gleam. Use the diamond. It creates a diamond or a box, depending on how perfect you do it. And now, what if you wanted sort of like a glow, kind of like this, but you wanted it to just kind of be a radiant, nice glow? Use the radio. <laughs> it creates a circular gradient. And the conical, which I really don't know how to describe it other than to show you guys. So I'm going to zoom out here real quick so you can see everything. Conical. It's not really that good to show, but uh, when you start down there. Conical. It's kind of like Imagine the white is like a good power and the black is an evil power. Or to represent that a little better, blue and red. If you do that, look as this look at it like they're clashing and fighting against each other. That's how I've always looked at it. And now I'm going to change this back to black because that blue and black just looks awesome. 
Okay. And, just for the fun of it, I'm going to use the overwrite and learn how that works. Best to practice with is probably going to be the linear. Ah, okay, I think I see. Alright, usually with blend... Okay, I don't see. Forget it. You guys will never know what this does. And neither will I. But I don't care. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And please hit the... There you go. I I'm messing it up. Anyway, see ya!